The Dreamcast and Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace share an almost symbiotic relationship. The first UK ads for Dreamcast ran before the movie for eight weeks prior to the console's launch, with Barber and Boy introducing Dreamcast to potential buyers and Star Wars fans alike. In 2000, Dreamcast received not one but two Phantom Menace themed games, the first being Star Wars Episode 1 Racer in July. Nintendo 64 gamers will be familiar with this one, having seen it come to their console in 1999 when it also came to PC. It's worth pointing out though that this game has nothing to do with the incredible Sega game Star Wars Racer Arcade, which also released in 2000, running on the Hikaru board. But in this video we're interested in the second release, a game which perfectly blends platform and arcade beat-em-up action, set within the confines of the story of The Phantom Menace. And that game is Star Wars Episode 1 Jedi Power Battles. Of course, here at the Sega guys, there's always method behind our madness. We decided to look back at Jedi Power Battles following the news on October 10th that the game is getting a modern re-release, coming in January 2025. This is great news, because Jedi Power Battles is a deceptively fun and at times challenging game. If you love the Super Star Wars games on the Super Nintendo, then there's a nostalgic hook here for you for sure, and the move to 3D does little to diminish the fun factor. From the start, you can choose from five Jedi Knights, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Qui-Gon Jinn, Mace Windu, Adi Gallia, and Plo Koon. And yes, the remake has righted the wrong which annoyed Star Wars fans for years. Mace Windu now has his purple lightsaber. In fact, according to the Star Wars press release, the remaster will allow players to choose between the original saber colours and screen accurate versions. Nice touch. Players will also be able to choose the unlockable characters from the start, such as Queen Amidala and Darth Maul, while new unlockable characters have been added including Tusken Raiders. And it's not just extra characters that are being included, all the cheat modes from the original game are making their way to the remaster as well, which means Big Head Mode and Big Foot Mode are back. It's great to see the developers stick so painstakingly accurate to the original Dreamcast release. Now, Jedi Power Battles was originally a PlayStation 1 game, and with the greatest respect to the visual style, it shows on Dreamcast despite the vastly upscaled graphics and better texture work. That said, it's got a charm to it, further enhanced by the brilliant and authentic sound effects, as well as John Williams' instantly recognisable music score. Going back to the press release, it's confirmed that the remaster will use the Dreamcast version's source code to give players the absolute best experience. This means smoother jumping mechanics and better gameplay, all while retaining that nostalgic feel of the original game. And that's important. So often we see these remastered games being built from the ground up and in doing so, they lose the feel of the original game, something that shiny new graphics just can't make up for. Of course, one of the best things about Jedi Power Battles being an official game is the sound design. And as previously mentioned, John Williams' score sets the scene in every level, mirroring the tone and mood of the movie perfectly. Every sound effect is absolutely nailed on. Blasters and lightsabers sound exactly as they should, as does the noise when you use the force skills to defect blaster shots back at enemy droids. However, there's one sound effect in Jedi Power Battles that players will both love and recognise, and that's the Yoda laugh when collecting power-ups during levels. It adds a moment of light relief into a game which tries to portray itself as a semi-serious, whistle-stop interactive tour of the movie, but you just can't help but smile every time you grab a power-up and hear <laughs> Gameplay-wise, Jedi Power Battles can border between challenging and infuriating, depending on your tolerance for repeated in-game death. The platform elements may not be to everyone's taste, but the game almost instantly redeems itself with the deflection of a blaster shot straight into the face of a droid. And that's the fun thing about Jedi Power Battles, and that while at times it can feel a bit unfair, it can also make you feel like a Jedi, as you wield force powers and you can't deny the satisfaction of using your saber to deflect those blasters. It's great to see Jedi Power Battles make a return, especially using the Dreamcast source code, and I think it's safe to say that its re-release is one that no one's seen coming or even expected. It's definitely one of those games I'd file under guilty pleasure on Dreamcast, although I wouldn't go as far as to call it a hidden gem. I mean, it's Star Wars at the end of the day. 
Were you a fan of Jedi Power Battles back in the day? Do you own it on Dreamcast now and still play it? Does this remaster make you all nostalgic and make you want to rush out and pre-order it? We'd love to hear from you, so get involved in the comments below. This has been James the Sega-holic of the Sega Guys, and until next time we will see you on the Sega side. The Force will be with you. Always.